Hey. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for joining Mike Harrison and I. My name's Brandon Lennon, and I'm a professional fossil collector along the Jurassic Coast. Let's have a look at some of the magical finds that Mike has made, though, and he'll show you some of the finds that he puts out during these fossil walks for people to see. Some crinoid that at Mike Harrison's fossils has found out along the Jurassic Coast. It really looks nothing on the other side. And that's part of your fossil walk, isn't it? That crinoid, you take that out on your fossil walk, Mike. That's right, it's a lovely example. And it um, demonstrates as well how... Um, it's a really good relief just, on there. Yeah, just um, the importance of getting them before um, the sea gets to them. Yeah, imagine that, all eroded. So what part of that did you see when you found it? Um, I could tell by the creamy coloured line when you it's... see it in cross section sticking out the mud. Like that. That's it. God, oh, just that. God, oh, what a thing to wash up then when that had that 3D relief on it. And once it's washed out and in the beach system, yeah, that's the end of it really. Yeah. Um, all Those... that fine detail is um, destroyed rapidly. Those ossicles scattered to the wind. Yep. Wow, what a specimen. Good as it gets, eh? Yeah, uh, yeah, you don't get better than that. Here we are at Mike Harrison's pond. Here we are with a really nice piece of rostrum, we call those locally. I wonder where that word came up, because people have asked me why we call these bits of rostrum. Obviously, they're the jaw of the ichthyosaur. This one Mike found along the Jurassic coast. Yeah, that was um, on a lovely May day. In and May, in, in spring. In May, we'd had lots of settled weather. It was nice and hot. I'd been out all day collecting. Hadn't found anything um, that was particularly good. So I was marching off the beach, looking forward to getting home. And what I spotted was it laying on the amongst the boulders like that. That side with the teeth. And at first of all, I just at a glance, because I was walking quickly, I thought there's a piece of wood there. I thought I'd better check it because occasionally what you think is wood turns out to be bits of ichthyosaur jaw. And lo and behold, I could see the teeth there that confirmed that it was actually a piece of jaw. And then of course I had the lovely surprise of turning it over and seeing all those lovely teeth. Wow. And I think I spent just 10 minutes, quarter of an hour perhaps, oh, with no. a toothbrush and a scalpel just picking out some little bits of um, shale, and that was it, job so done. So quick. Yeah. Here's a lovely ammonite Asterocerus obtusum in the evening light. Absolutely fantastic, both sides, that Mike found. What's the story behind that one, Mike? Well, I found um, a piece of um, flat stone, so a limestone nodule. Yeah. And hoping that there'd be one of these inside. I split it through the middle and usually one side pops off. But in this case, um, a whole ammonite popped out of the stone. Just fell out. <laughs> Literally just fell out. That's really unusual um, in the flat stones. And it's broken away from the body chamber as well, which was... Nice crystals in the end chamber there. Yeah, you can see those glinting in the sunshine there, look. Wow. Yeah, so the body chamber wasn't complete, um, so I kept it as it was. Yeah, nice oh, really nice one. To show people. Yeah, on the fossil walks, a good example of Asterocerus. Well, when Mike's out fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast, here are some of the smaller ammonites he picks up and puts in his pocket, saved from the destruction of the sea. You can see those ammonites he'll have to pick out of the lias mud, the Promicroceras. Um, proms are uh, what you want to find on a cold winter's day. Bit, so it'll go back together. Oh yeah, the It'll impression one side and the whole ammonite the other side. Mike found this a few days ago. Wow, look at those crystals in the chamber of the creature. And that's a beautiful brown, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'll really scrub up nicely, won't it? 
Oh. Another recent find with Mike. Funny looking nodule shape there. And what ammonite have you got there, Mike? In the, uh... And that's an Arniosaurus this time, and then you've got a prom, a little prom, Promicrocerus on top. Oh yeah, a little one at the top there. What's that'll pick off? Looks like it wants to come off. Here's Mike in the nice evening sunlight with that amazing ammonite he found during the really solid winter months. The one with the crystals in the chamber of the creature, Asteroceros obtusum. I bet you're looking forward to preparing that one, aren't you, Mike? Yeah, definitely. Shouldn't take too long either. Yeah. There's also a little bit of fish there to investigate. A little piece of fish down there. Oh yeah, just on the edge there. We're zoning in on that. Are those little see... scales or um Yeah, little scales there. Looks like um definitely the head I can see the, the head end you can tell by that scale there. Let's see that dunked in the pond. That yeah, should that'll uh... bring that'll bring the colour to life, won't it? There you go. And then you see the lovely calcite there, really showing up with a nice suture patterns as well. I should try and get a little um, nail and pop that bit off. Reckon? I reckon that will come off, won't it? Now. Yeah? Yeah, look. It's moving. It's all moving. Can you see the water coming out from underneath? Really? Yeah, look. Here we go. Oh, hey. wow. Getting right down to the beautiful centre of this Asteroceros obtusum. Just come round here a little bit. There you go. We'll give him a wash off. See where we're at. Sorry, fish. Oh, that's better. It's nearly totally exposed. Look. Oh yeah, look right down to the centre there. And no marks on any of it. God. Oh. Less than the work. That's one of um, Dave Soul's pins. That is. Um, some fossils are very disappointing and I found this piece of wood stone and um, there's a lovely asty. Oh yeah, you can see the keel sticking out. There's only half of it there. So no chance of finding the rest of it. Ah, oh, no. But there's a nice centre there. That will, that will... Oh, what a shame. Some you win, some you lose. So that's... Uh... Give that a dunk in, see what the colours I bet that looks beautiful for wetting the calcite. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow, it's glowing in this evening light there with the uh, nice suture patterns as well. Sadly destroyed by the elements. So with the ammonite, do you think the uh, edge was uh, sticking out like that and then just got worn away in a mudslide or something? Well, it, it's the, the stone's broken, hasn't it? It's just yeah. it, it's broken. I guess movements in the cliff have broken the um, stone, um, but you can see um, it's really weathered as well. So it must have broken a long time ago. Mike with a lovely piece of his crinoid fossil finds. Look at that sea lily stem. Is there a cup in there? No, no, it's just stems, I'm afraid, but um, wow. God, look, at, look that at that gold. I'd love to find the rest of it, but um, there's little chance of that. This was it's really amazing. was just an odd piece in a landslip. Um, I'd be very lucky to find more of it. And what's it like on the back? They got the ossicles not so, there? Not so good. Not so good. Yeah. A little bit of detail. You could easily walk over that, couldn't you? And not uh, exactly. spot it on the back so much, so. Wow, what a piece.
What kind of stone is that, Mike? Uh, this is a wood stone. It's actually another piece of that wood stone that had the um, broken asti in it. So it's nice to actually get a complete ammonite. Ah, so you got a complete ammonite out of that broken asti stone. I did, well actually two, because look, there's a little prom sat just there as well. And if and I tilt it in the light, ah, you, you got should the bump. be able to see the bump where the sediment follows the profile of the ammonite it landed on. It's a good size, that one, isn't it? Yeah. How long do you think some work like that will take you? I've well, no idea. It depends on whether it's sticky or not. Yeah. There's a good few hours there, that's for sure. Well, leave us some comments in the comments section about the fossils you would like to see in our next fossil hunting videos.